Monetarism, a concept that might sound complex, is actually a fundamental economic theory influencing everyday financial policies and our economic environment. I'm here to break it down in simple terms. Monetarism, at its core, emphasizes the role of governments in controlling the amount of money in circulation. Developed by economist Milton Friedman, it argues that variations in the money supply have major influences on national output in the short run and the price level over longer periods. Now let's connect this to the real world. Think about the last time you noticed prices going up at your favorite coffee shop. That could be a reflection of monetarism at work. When there's more money circulating in the economy, it can lead to inflation, as each dollar becomes worth slightly less. A practical example is the quantitative easing policy used by the Federal Reserve during financial crises. By increasing the money supply, the Fed aims to lower interest rates and stimulate economic growth. However, this can also lead to higher inflation rates if not managed carefully. Academic studies like those published in the Journal of Monetary Economics provide evidence supporting monetarism by showing correlations between money supply changes and economic outcomes. Understanding monetarism helps not just economists, but anyone wanting a grasp on why governments act the way they do in economic policies. It's not just about printing money, it's about stabilizing and stimulating the economy to prevent the kind of widespread economic downturns that can affect us all. So next time you hear about changes in interest rates or financial policies, you'll have a better idea of the theories guiding those decisions. Remember, it's all about keeping the economic ship steady in both calm and turbulent waters.